Beto, dude, all I could say is this is, I can't believe you guys do this stuff. I mean, this was a painted post. You could have put it in deeper so we didn't have to worry about it, but you got concrete all over it. And then the concrete is higher than the border or anything. So the grass guys can't work with that. And then I came here, I can't believe this isn't even cleaned up. There's concrete everywhere. All this debris, it was nice and flat when you started with no extra parts. And that was supposed to be fitted in place there. And then we needed to pour the concrete back there. So you just don't supervise your jobs. And this is not working out for me either. The dirt is not up on the back side of this. We cannot leave it like that. The dirt has to be put up on the border. I don't, I don't know what you have planned for tomorrow, but you need to have at least three guys here. But this dirt can't just stop like this. This, this looks like crap. The house manager couldn't believe what she saw. This is not our work. You have to have all this, I mean, look at all this dirt and rocks all over the place. This should have been swept up, it should have been clean. This is somebody, a $30 million home. Do you get it? $30 million. Jeez. You, I mean, we don't even make that in our lifetime. These people do not put up with this. This is all supposed to be flattened out too. That was part of it. And then the, the sprinklers, we talked about that originally, about getting those plugged or capped off or, or the, actually patched back together. But I mean, it's drawing flies and bugs. And I mean, look at all the bugs down there. It's a fly farm for mud wasps, actually bees. So look at rocks, sprinkler heads just put up because you didn't want to move them or something and then the boards aren't cut. This is just the shoddiest work. And this is supposed to be all leveled out when you're done. It's not leveled out. And then he dumped the concrete right here. Well, what am we gonna do with it? Is the lady of the home gonna move it or something? I mean, he breaks the concrete out from around the pole, leaves it here, and this comes out of the hole, and they, they leave it here. You can't do that. And you were wanting money last week, and the fountain, well, let's, let's start over here. Leaving all this material in the hole, okay? You bought extra material. I'm not paying for those other seven boards, by the way. So there's seven boards there that aren't even used, so you overbought. And then the fountain, it's not even fixed right. I'm here supervising the guy to tell him that he needs to do the bottom, but he didn't use any tape at the bottom, so it still has a crack. What is that? He was supposed to use that mesh tape. It's like drywall tape for, for Mason. And then, and then it's all rough. It's not even smooth. Beto. And then look at all the crap all over these bushes and tape and stuff in the planner. And then these bushes, look at all this tape. You know, guys, here, you know what it is? It's not your guys, it's your lack of supervision, okay? You do not watch your employees. This is a problem. I don't even know if I could have you on my job anymore. It makes me look bad. You should have had more people here to begin with to make sure this got done. You told me it was going to be done. And first day, two guys, you, you told me, oh, I'll have six on Friday, but no. I don't know what to tell you, Beto. You did it again. So I don't even know if I want to meet with you tomorrow, but for, for right now, we'll meet. But I got to get out of town at uh, 10 o'clock. So.